It's the Rockman back. If you want to just see the top set, skip to 328. I'm going to do my commentary over the rest of this crap, starting with my last warm-up set. I was not hitting the groove today at all. On Thursday, I knew I was sick. By lunchtime, on Friday, all day, I was getting my head smashed with a chisel, one of those that just, you can feel it from the back of your head to your eyeballs, and it's draining all the power out of your legs, so I did not feel incredible. And on Saturday, I spent most of my day sleeping, probably 10 hours, and then I went back to sleep, uh, so 12 hours or so. I didn't eat much because <laughs> my stomach was kind of turned up from it. I just hung out with the kids, and we just chilled on the couch watching movies. And then today, I felt much better. No tickle in my chest, no bullshit in my head. So I decided to go ahead with the workout that I had planned earlier in the week when I had such good luck with that volume. My right hamstring has still got a sore spot in it. I was kind of guarding it today in a weird way and then overstretching into it. You know how when one of your teeth hurts or your gums hurt, sometimes you just can't lay off of it? That's uh, kind of the thing that was happening today with it, and it was jacking up my groove. I also had a pointer show up in my left knee yesterday from playing around with the boy on the floor because I'm missing a ligament in that knee, and I felt it shift out of place, and that was just a matter of working with the floss, mobility, and then doing it again today, and I'll rest. And I was feeling the lack of food, the lack of calories I took yesterday, today, but I will always take rest over food. It is way easier to catch up on calories than it is on rest. Uh, rest is more important to your recovery than calories. So if you got to choose one, you know the one to choose. But don't expect to just <laughs> overcome it with fake ass intensity because it won't, it won't be there. So I had like, I was pumped up going into this workout, but then I immediately had zero energy for it. <laughs> but got to put in that work. 170. Last time I did this weight for a 5x5, five five, I can't remember if I've done it off the box, but I'm, I'm sure I must have. And I definitely had a belt on both of the times that I've uh, made it through here with the free squats probably done a couple times free squatting and uh only one time if i've done it at all off the box all these reps were trash up until the last well it happens here in uh set four i was doing the weird thing with the hamstring like and it was giving me yeah look there's motion in my lower back it's not supposed to be there that one looks okay there, that's rock solid. So uh, the third rep of the fourth set, I finally found a groove. Basically just let my hamstring, sore hamstring take the load and quit screwing around with stretching into it or guarding it with weird pelvic tilt. And yeah, that knocked it right out. So fifth set, we're going to just watch here. I ended up taking a couple extra reps. And I killed it with that little bit of slowdown on 10. I felt the most fatigue in my right quadricep. Hope you guys are training strong. And as always, thanks for watching.